What's up everyone, this is Cybernet8610, and today we're going to talk about the new Ghost Trick cards from Legacy of the Valiant. Now, I know these cards have been revealed, what, two, three days ago, something like that, I don't remember, and uh, I was doing the case opening stuff this week, and I really didn't get the chance to talk about these cards, so we're going to talk about them now. It doesn't matter if it's older news, maybe some of you hadn't heard about it, maybe you just want to hear my opinions on them. I don't know, one or the other. Uh, whenever they finally go on Yu-Gi-Oh! Pro 2, we will have an update on a deck profile uh, for them, and I'm wondering if I should just go on ahead and wait on dual videos until after they come out with the newer cards and have some duels using the new cards. So we might do that as well. I don't know. Maybe even a mix using some of the older cards newer. We'll see how it goes. In this video, though, we won't be talking about the other cards that we knew about before, like Ghost Trick Mary and the other XC monster, the Rank 1 XC. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. Uh, because we already talked about them. So we're just going to be talking about the ones we haven't talked about before. All right? So here we go. First off, we have Ghost Trick Frost. This is a dark level 1, 800 attack, 100 defense. Its effect is it cannot be normal summoned unless you control a Ghost Trick monster. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When an opponent's monster declares a direct attack, you can change that monster into face down defense position. If you do, throw summon this card from your hand and face down defense position. How many times in that effect do we hear face down defense position? Gah! <laughs> anyway though, this card's actually really awesome. It's another... It, well, Ghost Trick Lantern. It's another version of Ghost Trick Lantern. I guess in some ways a better version. Uh, they're slightly different, but it's basically another version of it. I mean, you know, and it was kind of like a battle fader or something. You can uh, get out of a direct attack and summon this card and face down the fence. That's pretty awesome. Also... I'm sure there's a reason for it, but it doesn't even seem that this card fits with the theme as well. The others are more based on Halloween. I don't see how a snowman works, but the artwork's adorable, as manly as that sounds. So, we'll let it slide with this one. And it has some awesome uh, effect. So, yeah, I think this is going to be an awesome addition for uh, Ghost Tricks. I like the effect of it. It's another lantern, if not in some ways better. Alright, next up we have Ghost Trick Cat Girl. For a second I thought maybe this would be like a card for Kathy, or I, don't, I guess it's the English name for the cat girl that's in Azale. I don't, I don't know the English names for everyone. Uh, anyway, that's what it reminds me of. But it is a uh, dark level 1, 400 attack, 900 defense. Its effect is can't be normal summon unless you control a Ghost Trick monster. Once per turn you can change this card into face down defense position. When a level 4 or higher monster is normal summon or special summon, you, if you control another Ghost Trick monster, change that monster to face down defense position. So, it's a walking book of moon, basically. It's just a card so uh, you, when your opponent summons monsters, which it can work for you too, but I don't really see it, you using it on yourself as much because with Ghost Tricks, you're using level 3 and lower monsters. So, But if there's some other variant you could use, you could do this to your own monsters as well, I guess. It, it has the option to, I'm saying you probably won't use it, but you, I guess you have the option. Mainly though, you'll just be able to keep book mooning your opponent's monsters with this type of effect, and monsters that are level 4 and higher. And uh, yeah, even if, I like how it's even if they're normal summon or special summon, it's not like one or the other. So that makes this card good as well, and you just have to control another Ghost Trick monster. So yeah, awesome card. I like how it's a walking book of moon. All right, next up we have Ghost Trick Skeleton. This card, it's basically a Toon Reaper of the Cards. <laughs> That's what it reminded me of anyway. I was getting my hopes up. I was like, you know, is it a Toon card? When I first saw that artwork, I was like, no, it's a Ghost Trick. Oh, well, still awesome artwork. Anyway, it is a 1,200 attack, 1,100 defense. It's effect is it cannot be normal summon unless you control a Ghost Trick monster. Once per turn, you can change this card to face down defense position. When this card is flip face up, banish cards from top of your opponent's deck, face down, up to the number of Ghost Trick monsters you control. You can lose the effect of, of uh, Ghost Trick Skeleton once per turn. Yeah. The thing that makes this card good is that it says that it's able to banish cards face down. So, yeah, if it, if it wasn't that way, this card wouldn't be very good at all. Because there are certain decks out there, you know, I mean, like Dragon Rulers, for example, you banish those Dragon Rulers, and it's not going to work out too well for you. But if you banish them face down, I believe the effect doesn't work. And that goes with a lot of their cards. So it's like a way of uh, just giving your opponent's deck and uh, make, you know, just banishing it face down where they can't even use them. They're gone. And, yeah, they don't know what the cards were that were banished, and uh, you don't either. So it's kind of a cool idea. I like how they're doing this. I wonder if we're going to see... I, I think this might be the first card we've seen like this that banishes face down. It's the one I can remember off the top of my head. And uh, I kind of hope we see more of this. This is kind of an interesting mechanic that I haven't seen too often at all. And like I said, I think this is the first time for that, so that that's probably the reason. Yeah, I like this card. I think it's an awesome addition to that, and being able to banish cards face down like that is a pretty cool strategy. 
After that, we have Ghost Drink Mummy. This is a uh, dark level 3, uh, 1,500 attack, I believe, zero defense, and its effect is cannot be normal summon unless you control a Ghost Drink monster. Once per turn, you can change this card into face down to defense position. During your main phase, you can normal summon one Ghost Drink monster in addition to your normal summoner set. You can only gain this effect once per turn. You cannot special summon any monsters except dark monsters. So, this reminds me of Constellars and Evil Swarms. You know how they have the, both of them have those certain monsters where you gain an extra normal summon. So, yeah, it's Ghost Trick's got their own version of that, which can really come in handy. It's an easy XC monster. You can go for an Alucard really easy because, you know, like I said, you can you can uh, special summon any monsters except dark monsters. So, you can go for any kind of XCs that are dark monsters, really. A easy, especially uh, level 3 monsters. So, yeah, awesome addition to them as well. This is something else where they can kind of swarm the field, XC easier, get that Alucard even easier out there. And I like this card for that reason. Alright, next up we have Ghost Trick Museum. Yes, Ghost Trick's actually got another field spell. I'm kind of surprised by this. Uh, anyway, uh, let's see. Its effect is monsters you control cannot attack except Ghost Trick monsters. Monsters cannot... Or, yeah, monsters cannot attack face down defense position monsters, but can attack directly if all monsters their opponent controls are in face down defense position. At the end of the damage step, if a monster inflicts battle damage, change that monster into face down defense position. So basically, it's the same as Mansion, the first line of its effect, or Ghost Trick House, if you want to go with the Japanese name of it. But then the end part of it is where it's different, where you, at the end of the damage step, if a monster inflicts battle damage, that monster, uh, you can change it to face down defense position. This can work, of course, on you and your opponent. So this can come in uh, handy either way. Uh, I still think Mansion is the better field spell, but maybe this would come in handy in certain strategies and certain instances because... Ghost Tricks are really reliant on mansions, so maybe this could give them another field spell that, you know, kind of a just in case. Maybe they can run, like, you know, two of this one and two of mansion, and then they have another option. I don't know. I still want to do some testing. I don't have any, you know, a really solid opinion on this card yet, because I need to test it more before I have a good opinion on it, but I still feel like mansion is the better card at the moment. So we're just going to have to wait and see. Like I said, we'll have some duels and stuff, too, and uh, a deck profile using these newer cards, so we'll see how it works. I think it's going to be a, a good addition, though. And the last card, but certainly not least, we're going to talk about is Ghost Trick Roll Switch. This is a continuous card, continuous trap card. Its effect is uh, once per turn during the battle phase, you can activate one of the following effects. The first effect is target one Ghost Trick monster you control and change it to face down defense position. Then change one face down defense position monster your opponent controls into face up attack position. The second effect is target one face uh, one defense position monster you control and change it into face up attack position. Then if if it was a Ghost Trick monster, you can change one face of attack position monster your opponent controls and face down defense position. So, yeah, this card could be a little bit on the annoying side for your opponent. Being able to flip one of your uh, Ghost Trick monsters face down, and then uh, just uh, being able to flip up one of their monsters at face up attack, and vice versa. You, If they have a really powerful monster with maybe even weak defense or something, being able to flip it face down and flip up one of your uh, Ghost Trick monsters, and come in handy. There are a lot of um, Yu-Gi-Oh monsters out there that have great attack, but really weak on the defense, so even Ghost Trick monsters could take them down. And of course, just the whole Ghost Trick's abilities. I mean, not even counting that basic strategy like I just said, uh, just the Ghost Tricks, the way they work, stuff. being able to flip cards face down so easily. Uh, you can only activate it once per turn, though, during the battle phase, but that can actually really come in handy. This is another card that I want to test out and see. Also, it has Ghost Trick Spectre in it right there, so it's got to be good, right? <laughs> I love that Ghost Trick card for that artwork. Uh, so yeah, tell me what you guys think about these Ghost Trick cards. Do you think they're going to be good? Do you think Ghost Tricks could actually be meta, like really strong in the meta? They can really destroy Noble Knights at the moment, so I could see them doing pretty well. Heck, I really hope they do. I'm glad it's an archetype that seems to be getting some really good support, and I won't be just forgotten. And hopefully, you know, in Primal Origin or whatever, it's Primal Origin, I think it's after, uh, like I said, the Valiant, uh, whatever packs after that, I hope we're going to see even more Ghost Trick monsters, because I'd love to see this archetype get even stronger and be one of the meta decks, because it's just so awesome. And of course, defeating your opponent with like these cartoon ghosts and stuff, that's just epic. As always, thank you for watching, remember to comment and subscribe, and of course, I will, like I said, I plan to do deck profile, duels, all stuff with the newer cards, and all the info about the cards we talked about will be in the description. Alright, later guys.